All right, this week we are here with the Wavy Willard Swimsuit Bundle. Now, from top to bottom, there is actually quite a few Wavy Willard's themed things in here. Now you got these fours that are kind of like designed to be a, you know, bottom of a pool kind of deal. They actually do look nice. They have little missing tiles, some wear or tear, things like that. Uh, you can even see where it looks like someone's partially cleaned them with these, like, Sweep. So it's a lot of little interesting detail work on them. But next up, we have the swimsuits, which even though they do have a more bright color than most actual outfits that come with these bundles, they actually still do look good. Like they're actually still belong. So you can see there is the dark splotches, the little wear and tear kind of deal on both the swim trunks and swimsuit. Next up is the Wavy Willard's lettering. As you can see, it's got quite a few. Like, it's got numbers. It's got letters. It's got all the different punctuation. That said, they are quite large. So, this is designed to be like a billboard style. So, if you want to make a really big message like trade shop here, hi, or whatever you want to put down, this is definitely a way, because as you can see, I can get really far back before you know that is even any sort of issue next up we have the rocks and as you can see they are designed to be basically fake rocks you can even see the little you know rebar underlay of the concrete rock now you can stack these now you're going to want to kind of play around with it of course you see if i'm just moving it quickly i can stack them in different ways to make designs they do kind of clip into each other as you can see here it's not fully though it's just a little bit so if you're trying to build like a wall I, i've used these in different shelters to kind of block off a passage to make it look like a cave-in and things like that with different ones but you can kind of turn them around play with them a little bit each different one, there's three total. You can kind of toy around with it. And, you know, just use them for different things. You can hide foundations, all sorts of stuff. You know, like I said, good one. Now, next up is the walls. And these are both nice looking and a bit weird. Uh, these are an older wall that came out a long time ago in Fallout Standards. It does have a long, short, and end cap. There is also a door, which is right here. I will show you that in a moment. Now, here's the thing that's odd. Like, you can put certain ones of these, like, right up against things. It doesn't snap, which is very odd that a wall set doesn't snap. But this, if I put it up next to the end, it will sometimes snap. It will sometimes not. It's very weird. As you can see, it just snapped. And I think it's partially because of just the way it's done. Like, it just doesn't automatically snap. As you can see, I can put it up and down a little bit. But sometimes they will just automatically go together. But if you come over here to this side, this one that did snap... I can just merge almost into this end cap. Like the other parts are more difficult, but it makes a very easy, smooth wall if you just use these end caps as I've been playing around with them. Because if I come over here, like I said, you can pretty much just snap or snap. And it's like if you're playing around with this, it, it might take a little bit of time. But it does get more used to it. Like, like I said, it, it's definitely an interesting wall set to play around with and deal with. But it does look nice. And even though it doesn't snap, it does give you a little bit of more of a free form. Because you can do like a corner here design or make it up and down just a little bit. And as such, it's a little bit easier work with but it's just a little weird as well 
Now, for the final piece here, as you can see, it looks like a standard wall, but when you walk up towards it, Now, I don't know why Wavy Willards has a door that's a secret passageway as part of its set. It is cool, though. It definitely has that interesting vibe, like, you could use this to hide a door to your base that you just want to just have a little fun with. Maybe it's a cultist shelter or something like that. But all in all, it's a fun little door. You can see it actually has a lot of nice... does have its own impact. It does have its own everything so and once i close it there is literally the only thing that shows you that it's there is that pop-up so with that hopefully this helps you with the wavy willard bundle and i hope you all have a great week